topic that's uh, very near and dear to my heart. I am uh, uh, very happy to sign on to Senator Avella's bills, and not only am um, I happy to do it, I find it as a, as a state senator that it's a responsibility that we have to do it. We must do everything we can to protect our, our drinking water and our water resources. Um, you know, throughout my district and throughout New York State, especially uh, this month, next month, we're talking an enormous amount about economic development, uh, growing jobs, growing the economy, and you know, I, I've looked around across the world. If, if anybody can point to me uh, a, a country uh, or a civilization anywhere that's doing really well economically and, and does not have access to clean water, please show me. But I, I continue to say that you cannot grow an economy, you cannot improve the quality of life anywhere if you don't have safe drinking water to drink. My position on hydrofracking has always been a little different in that I would like to see us argue a little bit more about what happens above ground uh, where right now we spend a lot of time talking about what happens underground during the process. Because if you understand the way the process works, the first thing you have to do to frack a well is you have to go find three to five million gallons of water. You've got to get that somewhere from a lake or a reservoir stream in the area. And you bring it back to the fracking site and you add toxic chemicals to it. At that point in time, no matter what else happens, you cannot argue that what you've just done is you've polluted an enormous amount of water resources that that community had. So it cannot be done safely. It cannot be done safely because the process itself purposely pollutes the water. So everything we're arguing about from that point on really is how much more water is the polluted water, which used to be clean water, going to pollute when it goes into the ground. And I say, let's not pollute it in the first place. Let's protect our water resources at a time when the entire country, the entire world is suffering from major drought does not make sense to be risking our water supplies. It's really a national security issue. New York State should be a leader in this, and we should ban it from New York State.